you wanted the best, you've got the best podcast. The hottest, hottest. podcast in the, world. in the world. The Chris Voss Show, the preeminent podcast with guests so smart you may experience serious brain bleed. The CEOs, authors, thought leaders, visionaries, and motivators. Get ready, get ready. Strap yourself in. Keep your hands, arms, and legs inside the vehicle at all times. Because you're about to go on a monster education roller coaster with your brain. Now, here's your host, Chris Voss. Hi, folks. It's Voss here from the ChrisVossShow.com. The ChrisVossShow.com. Welcome to the big show, my family and friends. We certainly appreciate you. Thanks for being here at the big show. And as always, as always, refer the show to your family, friends, and relatives. Go to goodreads.com for just Chris Foss, YouTube.com for just Chris Foss, LinkedIn.com for just Chris Foss. Subscribe to that LinkedIn newsletter. That thing grows like a weed. It's crazy over there in the big 130,000 LinkedIn group as well. Go see us on TikTok, the ticky talky thing where the kids are at. We're trying to be over there, but we're a little old and we're a little too serious for them too. They're like, what is all this highbrow smart shit? You're talking to billionaires and and people that are, have intelligence. We just want to watch videos that make you drool out the side of your face, which is pretty much what I do on TikTok too, because it's 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 addicting. Stay away from it if you haven't gotten into that heroin yet. Hey guys, uh, we have an amazing gentleman on the show. We're talking about his amazing company, because that's what we do on here. We invite these brilliant guests. We put in the Google machine, brilliant guests, and they just come on the show and they make the show look amazing. Because they're the only intelligent one here, usually. <laughs> You've seen my movie for 14 years. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, he is from a company called Alicosoft. And Alicosoft is a pretty interesting organization. We're talking about everything that they do and how they do it and uh, business in and of itself. Uh, David Hernandez is the head of U.S. operations. He's joining us today. And uh, he's a specialist or this company and him probably, I don't really imagine if he's hanging out with the company, right? He's a specialist who provide provider of software and related services to the built environment uh, based in Austin, Texas. Oh my God, those ribs. Uh, US, <laughs> their company's U.S. operation offers a software portfolio that is used during early planning stages through to construction and facilities management, driving the performance and day-to-day -day operations of the customer's business. He's been involved in the commercial construction industry for years and brings diversified experience to his role at Elicosoft. Uh, previously, he was the head of sales at C mod, where do you guys get these names? <laughs> By Built Safety LC, where he helped companies with custom training, digitize safety plans and inspections, ensuring OSHA standards. I know what OSHA is. Uh, we're up to date and improving workflow to enhance accountability and uh, via the web and mobile software platform. Welcome to the show, Dave. How are you? Doing good. I had to bring you with me. You're like a hype man. I love it. I am. That's what we do. We, <laughs> we give hype and then we add a little bit of flavor. A flavor to the uh, bios, uh, and sometimes they're funny, and sometimes people sue me after the show. Uh, <laughs> what did you do to my bio? Yeah. Anyway, man, uh, give us your .com so people can find you on the internet, please. So it's um, so alicosoft.com, and uh, it's E-L-E-C-O-S-O-F-T.com. Yes, alicosoft. Alicosoft. And, uh, uh, and those of you listening to the audience, because most of the people pull this on, on audio, you've got to watch the video because um, – he has an epic beard. And epic is in like uh, bold, uh, uh, shifted up uh, face, whatever the hell it is. I flunked English. You, have, you must see his beard because there, he's basically two people on the show. There's him and his beard. Mm. So we have two guests, as it were. So, <laughs> Dave. Dave that's okay like, i i like, actually get that yeah we're, we're trying to promote the beard i love it yeah he said his writer said though don't ask to touch the beard that's uh that's <laughs> off limits so just so <laughs> everyone knows don't ask dave to touch his beard um only his wife gets away with that evidently uh and even then i'm not sure about that because he's married so uh it's a joke, married joke right there so dave uh tell us about uh over you what this company is about and what you guys do there so i think if, if you most of most construction companies will probably re re know it as Asta. It was a, kind of the legacy name was Asta prior to being Alicosoft. Uh -huh. So it's, it's planning and scheduling software primarily. Uh, probably one of you know I would say probably one of the most important pieces of of, of a construction project is making sure that it's scheduled properly. Huh. So we've uh, we've digitized that and we've been around forty years now. Um, U.S. presence 
a little over 11 years. Wow. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. And they're a company that's based out of the UK, right? Uh, corporate headquarters out of the UK, uh, but each uh, each business unit, we're our own standing entity. So we're a US based entity. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. So they basically have been around for 11 presidents and one queen. Oh! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that funny how long she, she lived through so yeah. many so many people? It's crazy. Yeah, long time. Good for her, man. I, I would hope to live that long. She's just been living over there going, another one of these idiots coming over here, these American presidents? Yeah. Anyway, just a joke there. I'll get sued probably by the American some American president. Okay. <laughs> Arnie's still alive? Anyway. Yeah. Uh <laughs> so uh do you guys handle mostly commercial, residential, or both? So primarily commercial construction. Um probably it probably more on the general contractor uh, side because they're the ones that drive the schedule. Um, prime, there are some subcontractors or trade partners if they act as a prime, like maybe a mm -hmm. mechanical engineering, a mechanical or uh, plumbing, they probably do, but primarily commercial general contractors. There you go. So, how did you get in this business? So tell us a little bit of origin story about you. What led you down this pathway to uh, specialize in this field? So, I um, grew up in a construction family, and like most people who grew up in a construction family, the parents said, go to school, don't get in this industry, go you know, be a doctor or a lawyer. Uh -huh. Didn't want to. I ended up following, up, following sales, but I but all along did construction, remodeling, um, and then I ran my own construction company. Well, I partnered with somebody. We ran a construction company here in Houston. Mm -hmm. um, loved, I loved the industry, but I got tired of wearing the hard hat and kind of running the operations side. I thought I would just kind of retire. Well, I said, nope, you're going back to work. So then I fell into construction oh, tech. So, so construction tech was the, uh, was, was, was my, is my retirement plan, I guess. There you go. And tell us where was the beard born and where did the beard grow up in his origin story? Oh, beard was born 20, 2019. Yeah, so 2019. 2019. Oh, there you go. Well, there it worked well because COVID, because COVID was locked down, so I didn't have to worry about this. I could kind of let it grow a little crazy, and then after you know, I started going out again, like cleaned it up a little bit. There you go. Uh, yeah, well, I, I, it's crazy, man. I, I've seen these guys. I mean, if you can grow a good beard, man, I mean, you, you got your testosterone going, so that's always a good sign. Yeah, uh, especially at men our age. So, uh, uh, basically. You guys uh, do all major con, uh, construction projects uh, and help them develop their schedule. Why are schedules important? Why does that make a deal, big deal? Well, I think that's the primary driver of, of, of project failure, I think, is poor scheduling, poor planning, re whether it's resources or just you know being able to kind of manage the actual day-to-day. Mm -hmm. So um, we we try to we, we try to be scalable, whether it's a, a small project or a, a major project. So it, it, yeah, it, I think it's pretty important you know, to know, to know what you're going to be doing, not only today, but what are you doing in the next couple of weeks so that you can plan properly. Planning. Yeah. I've heard that's yeah. a good thing when it comes to business. <laughs> yeah. You know, one of the things about the construction business when you're building stuff is there's so many different vendors and some contractors and so many moving parts as it were, right. Where you have yeah. to, you know, you've got all sorts of different things going on. You know, you've got Bob who's going to come put, uh, put the nails in and, and uh, uh, the other Bob who's got to show up and do the inspection and, and everyone's got to do it according to plan or overruns can cost you a lot of money, right? Yep. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, I think there's also a different, a differentiator between planning and scheduling. And I think ah. a lot of, a lot of people will say scheduling, mm -hmm. but planning is much broader. And I think that's probably a weak spot within some of the construction industry mm -hmm. is they just hire schedulers. It, it, it needs to kind of be, be more of a, of a planning mindset, like overall, mm -hmm. how does it, how are we going to, how are we going to do this? And pl probably planning is important too, because I know that sometimes if Bob doesn't come in and put the nails in, then the inspector shows up and goes, Hey, Bob didn't put the nails in. And then, uh, they're like, yeah, well, Bob will be back tomorrow. But, and the inspector's like, yeah, but I won't be back for three months. So have fun with that. Yeah. Right. And it, it can, you know, just one, one sort of, uh, 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 wrench can throw all the gears out of whack. Right. Yeah. And you look at the industry as a whole, they struggle with whether it's labor, sh labor shortages, you missed, you mentioned cost overruns, mm -hmm. just budgeting. If that's not planned properly for, you know, whatever reason your, 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 your project can shut down and the cost of mm -hmm. the cost of a project shutdown per day could be exponential for a company. You put oh, a company yeah. out of business. There you go. So uh, I see some different names of the software. Tell us about what you guys offer and provide in the way of software and what it does. So, so the primary, so the power project is our, is our kind of our core product. That's the mm -hmm. planning and scheduling software. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. um, we've launched Vision, which is a complementary product to Power Project, which is our business intelligence. It's mm -hmm. the data that lives in that lives in the planning and scheduling software. And then we've launched a new product called Connect, which is pool planning. So it's the it's so the plan you have the planning and scheduling piece, and then now we have the execution, and that's the Connect piece where you've got trade partners. Here's here's our look ahead for the next couple of weeks and being able to use uh, digitize that process. Right now it's being done by mm -hmm. sticky notes on, on <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. It, it, it yeah the wind easy. blows and the it, sticky yeah, sticky it's notes go out the thing. It, it's uh, hey. And then evidently you can use a mobile app to uh, you know work on the thing live if you're out on a job site. Is that correct? Correct. So we have Site Progress Mobile, which is more for your foreman and superintendents to just update progress. Typically, you know, they can take a photo send it back to the scheduler this has been done it's 40 percent completed or it's 100 completed they can then update it typically helps with pay apps too it's nice to get paid when you, when you oh completion so you can pay your subcontractors through it well you could with you know i'm talking about just calculate ca capturing the progress so you you can submit your pay apps to get paid yeah. oh, okay we, there we, you we go. don't have we don't have that yet it's coming oh okay so it's not agreed there but not you know yet. if you want to get paid you gotta you gotta hey you should probably put your stuff in there and and rock and roll right yeah, keep track of it. That's that's always important. I always find because if you don't, uh, then you don't get paid. I my dad grew up in the subcontracting business in stucco, and half the time trying to get paid was a fun <laughs> was a fun project. <laughs> so there's that. Um, so uh, what else do we need to know about this? What makes you guys kind of unique in the area of this type of software and how you guys service? Where do you guys stand out from other vendors that might compete with you? So I think we stand out in a couple of ways. One, our product, our product alone, I think is, you know, I'm, I'm biased, I guess, but our product, our product functionality is, is superior, um, ease of use. It's a familiar looking product. So there's about, there's, there's a couple of players in the market, but typically Microsoft project and, and P, Primavera, Primavera P6 are kind of competitors. They, um, ease of use is second to none functionality. You can, like I said, customizable from if you're building just a custom, single custom home or a $4 billion airport uh, project. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and there, anything in between. Um, so our functionality is pretty robust. Um, the data intelligence, the business intelligence piece really, I think, brings a, a different level. And then I think our team, um, we, we look at it from a more of a problem solve, a problem finding solution. We want to we want to be involved in the industry. We want to be we want to make sure that we're helping the industry. So we, we try to bring in industry experts. And if even if our product solution doesn't make sense, we, we want to have that conversation to help them with processes and, and, and overall just making the industry a little better. So I think we approach it a little differently. And it looks like people can use your software around the world. I'm seeing some posts here about uh, different places in the world that people are using your software as well. Correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. it's, in, it's used now, um, obviously, the U.S. We're in um, pretty much all of Europe, Germany, Australia, Sweden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's yeah, all around the world. There you go. Well, it's being used a lot then. Uh, you can either buy a subscription around if you guys' website, or you can get a 14-day free trial. Sign up for that right. as well. There right. you go. I, I think I've got a um, – trying to come up with a local home business building joke, and I can't find one, so that's going to have to be the laughter <laughs> point. Uh, the laughter point. I need to remember that. Uh, but, yeah, I, I've got to, uh, I don't know, put up a shower curtain, so I probably should uh, free trial the system so I can make sure. But possibly. Make sure you supporters. schedule a the steps yeah. properly. Yep. I, I probably have to, otherwise that shower is going to burn down. It's, Cause it's the, if you ever see me try and handle tools, like my business partners back in the day, we'd try and I try and help them build desks and different things around the office. They'd be like, no, 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 get away from you. You're one of those people that don't be around tools. Yeah. I guess I'm kind of a tool that way, but yeah, I, you need your, your little drum little jump set in there. i do but it's a little it's my jokes are bad enough as they are they don't if, people, if i put on a drum thing a snare uh, crash people would be like seriously i mean the, the joke was bad enough as it is <laughs> yeah. uh but we've all been there we've all tried to put the shower curtain and burn down the house right is it is it just me um so you guys do this the software is available around the world um it gives i see some different terms here that i'm not really sure about so there's project scheduling and 4d bim integration bim what is that so so 4d is the is 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 the software is, is the technology of taking a 3d bim model which is the uh, I don't know if you're, the, the 3d models that typically mm -hmm. they take that technology and put it into the scheduling software we've actually we've actually um kind of try to turn the, the industry on its head a little bit by starting with the model first so grabbing mm -hmm. that 4d model 
putting it into the software and actually letting the software build a schedule from the 4D model and the data that's in there. And it's actually what? been, been it's, it's probably one of our best features. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. It's, oh, I'm seeing it on the site here. Holy pretty, crap. A moly. And, it, and I, I think, I think in the U S um, our customers that we have a conversation with, they're like, yeah, we want to get into doing BIM and more 3d and 4d, but you know, we have to hire a specialist. You don't have to do that with Power Project. It's it's integrated into the system. You can yeah. build the three D models from there. You can transfer in yeah. the IFC files. I mean, it's 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 a pretty slick. Plus, you can probably spin these around, right? So it, yep, there's can, animation uh, in it. There's these, yeah. And it looks like it shows the different stages of uh, things being built. Like I'm seeing a central construct uh, uh, sort of thing, and they're building the uh, levels. Yes, it does. And it there you go. And it helps you if you can take it from a model to schedule. It it, it we had a customer who actually did that and they had a project that was slated for 18 months or for 12 months, excuse me. And then when they put it into the schedule system, it actually turned out to be an 18 month project. Mm -hmm. They had everything printed out. They showed the owner, the owner, you know, they challenged it. They couldn't find anything wrong with it and said, you know what? You're right. It's 18 months. So they saved the customer six months of change orders wow. over this project. And that was a, a ridiculous amount of money that was saved to this customer. I can imagine. Yeah. Just by doing it that way. It was actually pretty cool. Huh. It's actually the start of this, what we call active 4d. There you go. Process. Now you just need to get integrated with that new Apple thing, and people yeah, have that thirty five hundred dollars headset and go, "Wow, look at this!" I, so, I literally sent that to my innovation team yesterday. Like, oh, serious? Is, we, we've got to figure out there a way to go. do this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could, you know, it'd be cool as if you could walk around the uh, if you walk around the building with those things in like your virtual building, and you'd be like, "Whoa, okay." I saw something really cool the other day. Uh, it was on TikTok, I think, um, and these guys had like a gymnasium they'd set it up in because i could see the basketball hoops but basically they had all these uh things on the roof that were that would spray down a model and you could see like the basically the blueprint of a mm. home a residential home and it even had like a welcome mat up yeah. front and you could basically be down there with the customer and the customer could literally walk through a scale version, you know, just the flat part of their home and get a sense or feel of the walkthrough on it. Like, okay, you know, three feet down, you turn here and there's a bedroom here and there's a bathroom there. And, and, uh, I thought that was pretty freaking amazing. I'm like, holy crap. Yeah. You Augmented know. reality is what they call mm -hmm. that. And it's, um, it's, it's, it's taking, I mean, it's taking hold across most construction industries already. There are plenty of companies that do that. So that's kind of another, I guess, another add on is we're look, we, we love partnering with that. We don't do the augmented reality piece. Mm -hmm. However, with our, with our planning tools, if they're doing augmented reality, there's some, there's some APIs that we could look at doing. We're totally, we love the partnerships piece as well. Yeah, I can see the future of having those augmented reality uh, headsets where you could walk through the building and you could be like, hey, I, I don't like the bathrooms over here. They need to be over here closer to me because my prostate can't make it that far. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, you know, that sort of thing, you know, where you could be like, hey, who put this, who put this, you know, uh, pillar here? Like, what the, f what the hell? Uh, you know, that sort of thing. And you, you know, of course I'd be more concerned about like, how, what's the view on my office and how big is it? Right. Uh, so there's that, I mean, you know, you got priorities. Uh, you guys also do business intelligence and simplified stakeholder management. Tell us about that in the software, please. So the business intelligence, I guess, is just another way for saying that stakeholder management, it's the, you know, when you go, when you look from an executive level or management level, you don't necessarily need to get into the granular pieces of the schedule. You just want to know some high level information. Are we are we on time? How are we doing actual versus budgeted? You know, what is what what are delays? What's causing those delays? So I just need to see that in kind of a simplified, whether it's dashboards or business intelligence tool. So that data is there. So vision allows us to grab that data, share it from a for from a for a high level perspective and also for the schedulers to manage it as well. But really it's more for kind of the executives. Your stakeholders would be, you know, your owners if they need that information, trade partners as well. There you go. Yep. There you go. So what have we touched on that you guys offer with your software and how you build it and all that good stuff? I, know, I think we've touched on all the features and functionality. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's, it's a pretty robust system. I mean, we could probably we would spend so much time going into all the, sure. the, the weeds, but I think ultimately if we, if we just, if we kind of tag it more of a planning, a planning platform versus just scheduling, because there's, there's risk analysis, there's business intelligence, there's so many other things in there mm -hmm. that, 
uh, from a planning perspective, resource management as well, which moving people around in materials is important. There you go. But, uh, and yeah. getting stuff out on time. You can, you yes. can get six months off a project. I mean, if you're building a skyscraper. That's like tens, Huge. hundreds of million dollars. And, yeah. and then everyone's happy because you don't want, you know, lawsuits and legal stuff and, and uh, problems where this person doesn't like that or, this person saying, well, this person did that wrong. So this is wrong. And, you know, plus you could probably help identify problems in the system and in different aspects and then maybe re auto, you know, recorrect, uh, for issues that come up. Yes. There you go. There you go. Well, this is pretty awesome. I love the 4d thing and, uh, yeah, it'd be cool, man. If, if, uh, you know, maybe Apple's new headset or other VR, uh, AR, XR, you know, you name it. BR, I don't know what BR. Whatever, is. whatever alphabet we can throw at it. Yes, whatever alphabet <laughs> we can throw at it. The, the 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 Chris Foss virtual is called CR. I don't know what that means. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so you go. Anything more you want to tease out on what you guys are doing before we go? Um, I you know, I think you know the one thing I guess I missed. One, one of the things that separates us is we we started as a construction company um, mm -hmm. back in 1895. It was we were a construction company and moved into a tech. So we we understand the industry. Uh, our tag is, you know, built by construction for construction, but, um, you know, there's some, there's some pretty cool things coming on the innovation roadmap that, um, you know, we're not there yet, but obviously mm -hmm. AI and some of these other predictive analytics and some things that we're really trying to get in. So any, like I said, partnerships, uh, we love getting feedback from the construction industry, from our customers and prospective customers as well. So there you go. And they can reach out to you on your site. Correct. Well, I suppose that'd be the easiest way to contact us. There you right? go. Uh, give us that site one more time. It is alicosoft.com. And yeah, and it's not too easy. It's E-L-E-C-O-S-O-F-T.com. There you go, guys. Reach out to him and stuff. Well, uh, Dave, this has been wonderful having you and your beard on the show. Thank you for coming. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Thanks, Chris. There you go. And thanks to my audience for tuning in. We certainly appreciate you guys because without you guys for 14 years and 1400 episodes, we couldn't do this. Actually, we would be probably still doing it because I enjoy the guests we have, but uh, uh, no one would be, you know, no one else would be listening. But we love you and everything you do and uh, all that good stuff. Uh, be sure to refer the show to your family, friends, and relatives because you wanted them to be at least as smart as you. Maybe not quite as smart as you because you guys are the smartest audience ever, but, you know, at least get them uh, within a few IQ points of yourself. Uh, go to youtube.com. <laughs> says Chris Voss. Goodreads.com for it says Chris Voss. YouTube and LinkedIn and TikTok. Thanks for tuning in. Be good to each other. Stay safe. We'll see you next time. Of course we will. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh